Close your eyes and drop all your other thoughts. Hold on to thoughts of staying with the breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And as for anything else that comes up in the mind right now, you can just let it go. We have to realize that principle that there sometimes there's lesser pleasures that get in the way of bigger happiness. We have to be willing to let go of the lesser pleasures. We can't have everything we want because some of the things we want destroy some of the other things we want. So we have to decide what's important in life. That's the function of our discernment. If you really want to be wise and discerning, you have to realize which pleasures can go with higher happiness and which pleasures don't. And then if you have good will for yourself, you have to remind yourself, I can't go for the pleasures that get in the way of long-term happiness. I have to learn how to say no to the things that will get in the way and make myself happy to say no. If you miss those things, if you get upset, irritated by the fact that you can't have those things, your determination is not going to last. So that's another aspect of discernment, is learning how to make yourself happy to let go of things you know are going to disappoint you, and happy to hold on to things that may be difficult but you know are going to give you true happiness in the long term. That's genuine discernment. That's genuine goodwill. So in the meantime, you have to be patient and enduring. But you don't just sit there enduring things. As John Chow once said, if simple endurance was enough to gain awakening, gain true happiness, then the chickens would have beat us for a long time ago. They can sit on their eggs for hours at a time. But we have to look at ourselves and ask ourselves, what do you really want? And part of the mind will say, I want my happiness right now. Another part will say, I want something that's not going to disappoint me. And you have to learn how to sort between the two of those. Listen to that second voice. Give it strength. This is why we meditate. Because if you have to have no well-being at all in the meantime, it's not going to, you're not going to be able to follow the path. You have to give yourself a sense of well-being as you look at your generosity and you're happy that you're generous. You look at your precepts and you're happy that you can see that you're not causing any harm. And then as you breathe in, breathe out in a comfortable way, and the mind can settle down and find itself in a place where it's not disturbed inside, a place where it's happy to be. Okay, that'll give you the strength you need in order to stick with your determination that you want long-term, lasting happiness. You don't want the kind of happiness that turns around and gives you a swift kick as it leaves. You want happiness that's loyal to you, that trusts you, and you can trust. So work on being trustworthy to yourself, loyal to yourself, by being very selective in the kind of happiness you look for in life. 